Welcome to Meeple Motivators, a series of short videos to help motivate you to get a game to the table that you have been dreading to relearn. These are not meant to be complete rule summaries, but will hopefully assist in refreshing your memory on how to play that game that has been sitting on your shelf for months. In this episode, we'll talk about Battlestar Galactica, the board game, designed by Corey Kanezka and published by Fantasy Flight Games. At the start of the game, you will find out if you are a human or a Cylon, but you cannot tell the other players. If you are a human, your objective will be to find the map to Earth. If you are a Cylon, your job will be to eliminate the humans by running out of a resource, destroying Galactica, or invading Galactica with Cylon boarding parties. Be sure to note that Cylons look like humans and may be pretending to help with a cause when it may fit into their overall plan to end the human race. A game turn consists of receiving skill cards, moving from location to location, performing actions, resolving crisis events, activating Cylon ships, and preparing to jump. Let's go into more detail on each of those. At the start of your turn, look at your skills on your character sheet and draw skill cards accordingly. If you have a multi-skill, like this one, you can mix and match as you see fit but you must draw the number shown between them. If you ever go over 10 skill cards, even on another player's turn, you must immediately discard cards of your choosing down to 10. In the movement step, you can move your character token to another location. Humans cannot go to the Cylon locations, and only revealed Cylons may go to those. If you move to a new ship, you must discard any skill card from your hand. If you are currently piloting a Viper, you may move to an adjacent space. If you wish to redock with either Galactica or Colonial One, you must still discard a skill card. During the action phase of your turn, you can perform one of seven different actions. The first is to do the action of the location your character is standing on. Some skill cards, like this one, will have actions on them. Play it from your hand to use it. Be sure to check your character sheet as some of them will have actions on them that you can use. If you're piloting a Viper, you can use your action to activate it to move or attack. Remember that only characters who have the piloting skill on their character sheet may pilot a Viper. Unmanned Vipers may be controlled via the command location. If you are the President, the Admiral, or have a Quorum card, those cards may also have actions on them that you can take. If your secret loyalty card shows that you are a Cylon, you may reveal it to everyone and perform the action. Note that there is no going back from this. Lastly, you may choose to do nothing on your action step. After you've taken your action, you then draw the top card of the Crisis deck and hope for the best. Read the card aloud and resolve it. There are three different kinds of Crisis cards. If you draw a Cylon attack card, follow the instructions listed on it and discard it. These cards often add Cylons in the spaces around Galactica, and some may activate and attack. Some crisis cards require a unique set of skills to solve a problem. The upper left corner of the card shows the difficulty, and the colored boxes under it represent which skills are needed. Start by reading the card aloud to everyone, then, deal two cards from the Destiny deck face down into a common pile within reach of all players. Starting with the player on your left and ending with you, play any number of skill cards into the pile. Then shuffle the skill cards so no one knows who input which cards. Flip them face up and split them into two piles. One for cards that contain the necessary skills to fight the crisis, and another for cards that don't. Calculate the total strength of the matching cards and subtract the total strength from the others. Compare the calculated value to the skill strength of the crisis card. If the new value is greater than or equal, then the skill check is passed and follow the instructions in the pass section. Otherwise, follow the text of the fail section. Alternately, some cards will require the current player, the admiral, or the president to make a choice. Event crisis cards have instructions on them that must be followed they often force the President or Admiral to make a decision. After resolving the Crisis card, 
Look at the bottom left corner of the card to see if there is a Cylon ship icon. Each of these does something different and can be found in the rulebook. Generally, the raiders will attack your vipers, destroy civilians, and attack Galactica. The base stars will attack Galactica and launch raiders and heavy raiders that will attempt to send boarding parties onto Galactica. When a ship is attacking, roll an 8-sided die and then compare the result to the chart on the back of the rulebook. This will tell you if the ship is damaged or destroyed. Destroyed Cylons are removed from the board. Damaged Vipers are placed into this box until they are repaired. If Vipers or Raptors are ever destroyed, they are removed from the game. Destroyed Civilian Ships are flipped face up to show what resources are lost and then removed from the game. Whenever Galactica or a base star is damaged, draw the respective damage token and refer to the rulebook for the effects. If the Crisis card's lower right corner has the Prepare for Jump icon, advance the Fleet token one space towards the Auto Jump icon. When that space is reached, remove all ships from the board. The Admiral then chooses one destination from two possible choices. If the distance of the new destination and all previously jumped destination cards equals or exceeds 4 or 8, then follow the instructions on the COBOL card. Finally, reset the fleet token. If the humans were able to travel 8 or more units of distance, then they only need to jump one more time to win the game. If the Cylons were successful in preventing this, then they win the game. And that wraps up this episode of Meeple Motivators. We hope you're able to use this quick video to gain the motivation to get this game to the table soon.